Welcome to Excel Name Trick number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the Excel workbook, Excel Name Series 1 to 12. Hey, trick number 12, I saved up a bunch of weird, unrelated name tricks for the last one here. The first thing I want to do is talk about the F2 key when you're dealing with formulas, because a lot of times when you're up uh, creating formulas in the name dialog box, uh, the arrow keys don't seem to work. Now I want to create a formula right here. I'm going to type equals and then I'm going to use my arrow keys. Now arrow, 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 down arrow, arrow. That's a way when you're in type an equal sign and start to create a formula, your arrow keys allow you to go and get cell references. Notice what it says down here in the corner, point. That means you're in point and click and go get a cell reference mode. I'm going to type plus and then arrow, 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 arrow. Notice it says point. Now, if I actually wanted the cursor not to do that, watch this. Right there it says point. Now hit the F2 key. Now it says edit. When you're in edit, the arrow key won't go and hunt for cell references. It will go through the formula and you can navigate to some point in which you want to edit. Now that's the thing that usually happens when you're in the middle of names or charts or something like that and you have up in a dialog box you have a formula or some cell references. Now watch this one more time so we've seen edit and point. If I hit F2 again, now it says enter. Actually I'm going to click at the N and then hit F2 and then enter. Now when I use my arrow key to go down, enter means that it will put the formula in. So there's three different modes that you could see down here. Point means you can use your arrows to get cell references. Edit means you can use your arrow to move through the uh, formula. And enter means you can hit enter. I'm going to control F3. I'm going to select uh, uh, formula that I've created. Here's that relative cell reference we did in uh, trick number 11. This is where you get into a lot of trouble and so the F2 key really is helpful in that situation. I'm going to click escape. Now I want to show you uh, another feature called apply names. Apply names. I'm going to click here and I'm going to actually add up all the birds we've cited. So alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for autosum and I'm going to highlight this whole table. Notice I don't have a name except for B11 to D15, control enter. Now I want to name it after I've already created my formula. So I'm going to highlight here, come up here and say uh, BS for bird sighted, enter. Now what I'd really like is to have that say BS. So you could do it by hand, you could you know highlight it and type in BS, but there's a built-in feature. You can go to formulas, define names, Define names and apply names. In Excel 2003, you go to Insert Menu, Names, Apply Names. And there's notes always at the top of my spreadsheets that have those kind of little tips. Now I'm going to say Apply Names. And notice it's it's it knows in memory that BS um, is for that range that it sees right there. You can see right there B11 to D15. So then you click OK. Notice it says ignore relative and absolute. We've talked about in earlier uh, name tricks about relative and absolute, but by checking that, it'll ignore that. And we'll look at this row and column names in uh, just a moment. Click OK, because our job is to paste this and replace that cell reference there. And then click OK. And sure enough, there it is. So that's how to use apply names. Now, I want to actually name this column Eagle, this column Hawk, this column Falcom, this row right here Days. So I'm simply going to highlight the whole range right here and use my keyboard shortcut that's for uh, uh, create name from selection. Control Shift F3. And it's saying where are the names in the top row, where are the names in the left column, click OK. If you don't believe it, Control F3. And you can see there's a bunch of, there's Falcon, Eagle, um, Day 1, Day 2, Day 3, etc. Now click Close. Now, uh, the reason why that's so nice, we've looked at it many, many times, is now you can do a formula like equals uh, day underscore four space falcon. That's on using the intersector operator there, space, and it, it takes the intersection of those two and gets there. But now, we're still t what we're trying to look at is apply names. 
there's an amazing feature in apply names for intersector operators. Now, if you highlight this whole range here, you could see that um, I've actually already created formulas like this one right here. If I hit F2, it's looking right there. And this cell right here, if I hit F2, it's looking right there. Now, we created this, um, these formulas before we applied those names. And we can actually apply all the column row names afterwards. Simply highlight the range, go to Formulas, Define Names, Define Names, Apply Names. In, our, in Excel 2003, it's Insert Menu Names, Apply Names. And this is where, no way. It's like it can read our memory. It says use row and column names. See, it knows in memory that all those cell references have these intersector operators. And if you scroll down the list, it actually, or up the list or somewhere. Oh, there it is. It got all of them. Day 1 to 5, Eagle, Falcon, Hawk. Now, use row and column names. That's checked. But look here under options. You can actually decide whether to have the row come first and then the column. Let's, do, let's click OK. Oh, and there's omit column name if it's the same as column, etc. But we just want to look at applying row and then column. So click OK. And if I click here and hit F2, sure enough, it put the day and then the column. I'm sorry, the a row and then the column. Let's do the same thing again. Uh, formulas, names, define names, apply names. But let's go to options now and select column. And that way the birds will be first in our formulas. Oh. Uh, I'm going to have to redo it this way, so hit that didn't work because there's already uh, intersector operators there. I'm going to say equals, click right there, and then control enter to show you this trick. And now we'll go back up to uh, formulas, define names, define names, apply names, and then options, and I'm going to click column first, click OK. And now the column came first, eagle, and then day. Now, um, so that's how to use the F2 key and apply names. We saw how to apply a name here, and then the uh, uh, maybe not so often used by people way of looking things up, the intersector operator, how to apply those names afterwards.